secrets. Absolutely. I give away oh. all my secrets. Why wouldn't I? <laughs> They're not secrets. They listen to the podcast. That's what I, all the secrets Do you know are. what, Charles? You really realise when, when you're successful, when you can give away all, everything that you do and hope people use it. The Great. thing is that the majority of people won't because it's, it's easy to say but hard to execute. So I hope everybody does because that pushes me to raise my game and I'm all about that. Give That's it all the way for free and wow. let everybody do it. It's open source, that. open source network and hustling. <laughs> <laughs> and building businesses. The open way to do business. Mm -hmm. What I'm trying to do today yeah. is to send over five or six questions to the panel so everyone goes, oh, okay, hey, you, you forgot to talk about this and that. Can you add that in? Yeah. Let's go. How many questions have we got? One, two, three, four, five, six. Okay, so let's go from the top of the questions. All right, let's kick it off. With the considerable funds you have raised to date, where are you most focusing your capital allocation and why? Yeah, I think that's a really good question because it talks about funds raised to date, yep. we'll talk probably a little bit around that, and also capital allocation, where they're looking at that. And I think that could be very, that doesn't necessarily have to be just on investments, by the way, yeah. right? Okay, I like yeah, the exactly question. Exactly. In the recent bear market, have you seen any pullback in terms of developer engagement or new projects being built in your chosen ecosystem? Yeah, love the question, really smart. Boom. Okay, number three, when deploying capital into the space, where do you see the most value being occurred, accrued, sorry, with equity or token investments? Yeah. Right, you're trying to see what Yeah, we're doing. absolutely. I, th I think what we're going to probably talk about there is equity stakes in very early stages, which is typical VC. You might have some funds which have token exposure, mm -hmm. and there also might be discussion around STOs as well. So how will the STO market change? And some of the other funds may have that yeah. exposure as well. The market's mature. Right? Market's so mature. The ICO craze is kind of over. And I think that's quite interesting because that kind of leads back into the question with regards to equity or tokens, right? So how is M&A activity going to pan out with yeah. regards to tokens, right? So if someone wants to accumulate a position in the company, how will they actually go about doing it? Will they have to go in and start buying tokens like you'd have to buy equity in order to get some type of majority stake? Or would it be a token swap or how does it Yeah, work? and I think, I think that's interesting. Let's look toward the future. What does it hold and how is your ecosystem prepared? Let's look toward the future. In your view, what does it hold and how, and more importantly, in your view, what does it hold? And how is your ecosystem prepared? And how is your pre prepared? Correct. Yeah, maybe maybe just put that down. You know, what are you doing today for tomorrow's future? Yeah, it's it's help. It's not help. Like, how do you help support and grow the projects that you invest into? Uh, let's bounce that down right now and let me let me have a review. Yeah. been over in Central and then last night we moved over to the Kerry okay. because just because the conference That's is on the there event is gonna be right yeah now. and it's it's last year we stayed over in Central and we, we spent kind of our morning and our evening yeah going back and forth and back and forth yeah. and it just it doesn't it doesn't yeah. doesn't make sense so um, but Central is like the cooler, the cooler part yeah of well it's like kind of more authentic Hong Kong right mm -hmm. It's a token, it's like, which is exactly what a token actually is. You can just I use it. All my slides Do you? Yeah, it's like a token of my appreciation. A token, a token of my appreciation. And of my affection. Like okay. A gesture, a token is a container for value. Container of value. It always has been before blockchain, before crypto. Any, anything, just a token. It's a, it's a holder of the thing that's valuable inside of it. But you can only use it within 
that trip across the water, well, right? Yeah, and blockchain, of course, like institutionalizes that concept as like it holds the monetary value. So I'll see you later on, okay? Sounds good. I have your guys' numbers. Okay. Oh, have a great day in Hong Kong. Bye bye. So the plan right now, yeah. uh, we are going to get ready for our meeting with Circle this evening, yeah. and then later on there's three or four meetups that we're going to go to. Yeah. You have the pitch off taking place, that's going to start at six, <laughs> then you have Syndicator doing a cool meetup. We also have Simon Dixon speaking on emerging markets and especially crypto. Didn't Simon speak at one of our events? He did, yes, he what, did. This time last year? This time last year, around that kind of time. And then we have 256 Ventures holding uh, their own event tonight as well, which we're going to be attending. That's a really interesting venture capital fund that I'm starting to see more and more of in Hong Kong. So I really can't wait to actually meet all those guys. David's one of the head guys over there. So I'm going to check that out. Uh, so we're going to go meet the guys from Circle. Uh, did you know that they had an Asian office? I wasn't aware of that. Right. Okay. But you know what? It doesn't surprise me. Those guys are everywhere. <laughs> like They put out so much content and they also put out a lot of cool research notes as well, which you know we've met the head analyst who did the piece on EOS, which is really cool. We've got a mention in that one as well. Do you know what I'm seeing? I'm, I'm seeing more and more institutional type research get, uh, get, get released, produced. And it's actually really, it's really good. There's some lot of great work being put out. I read a really interesting 56 page article on Ethereum. That was really good, by the way. I mean, it, was, it, went, into, it went into a lot of in-depth about uh, the trading and the valuation metrics and, uh, and everything, everything else. I forget what it was called. I think it's key. I think it's key as well to helping unlock more institutional capital into the space. Well, it's, it's starting to look like, it's starting to look like um, proper pieces of research that you find in equity capital markets. Like, it's starting to now take that shape, right? So um, I, think it's, I think it's a solid foundation, but e equity, equity research, just like uh, crypto research, it costs money, right? In order for someone to actually yeah. take it's, it's days, hard. weeks, months to actually produce that, that piece, like it takes time. So these people have to be paid for what they do, and, and how's that gonna happen, right? You know, so, yeah, like I think, it's, uh, I think a lot of the firms that are putting it out are putting it out on their own back, and that's good to see, but we, we also have to find ways that they get remunerated for that. Ryan, yes. how are you, buddy? Good, how are you? How's it going? Yeah. Shane Keogh. If you think of anybody that's looking for, you know, contacts in London because we've got a huge community, okay. our networking, or you know anyone who's coming into town you want us to look out, out for, okay. um, or if there's anything you're looking for on the kind of EOS side or in the venture capital arm, I mean, you have our numbers, uh, okay. you're in our telegram, and if there's anything that we can do to help you guys out, we'd just love to be able to do that. It's been a real pleasure. Great to meet Thanks you. very much. No, Thanks a lot. So we've just completed a meeting with Ryan Salmi, who is the head of trading here for Circle in Asia. We are at, a, or we work on the 20th floor overlooking Hong Kong Harbor. And it's a beautiful day today. The sun is shining. You can see it glistening along the waterfront there. And we, we're in a, what I could describe as a glass box overlooking Hong Kong Harbor. It's very special, and I would really like to thank the guys at WeWork for letting us use this space to do the podcast. Of course, you're listening to myself, Shane Kehoe, one of the co-founders of SVK Crypto. We're here in Hong Kong for an event. We are actually here for Token 2049, which is the premier cryptocurrency and blockchain technology conference in the world. You know what, actually a lot of the people that I met last year at Token 2049 here in Hong Kong, I'm friends with today. And in fact, that friendship has even grown. I've done business with several, several of them. Um, they have come over to um, speak at some of our events. 
Uh, they've come over to London to experience our community, our hospitality. They've introduced me to other people and it's been wonderful just within those last 12 months being here this time last year the amount of networking opportunities and the amount of friends that I've met in the cryptocurrency and blockchain technology space has been nothing short of amazing. So it's really nice to be back here with you. I make sure that when I go to a conference like this, I've already connected with all the speakers on, on LinkedIn and all the speakers have received from us just a, you know, a very short bio of SVK Crypto and, and who we are. And why do you do that? Um, I really do that because I want to, uh, first of all, continue to build my LinkedIn presence. And second of all is that if I, if I reach out well ahead of a conference, I want to be able to really m maximize my time at a conference and usually um, with you know, general conversations beforehand, I can get through a lot of who SVK are and what we do and I can understand who they are so that when I actually do meet them at, at the conference, I can take a lot of that you know, initial conversation out. So kind of get right down to business or if there's businesses to discuss or if we can help out and add value in any way. This is really about putting your best foot forward, making, you know, make, make, you know, not, not being introvert, being extrovert, you know, getting out there and really trying to build this network. For me, it's like, it's so exciting to do that because everybody is new to the game, right? Nobody is an expert. And we'll look back at five or 10 years time and the access to the people that we have now, you're not gonna get. Totally agree. We're really, like, we're really, really happy that um, we were asked by the guys um, with, with the guys at Token2049 yeah. to come and speak on the panel. I think it's like, it's, a, it's an amazing accolade and we're really appreciative for doing it. And we're gonna deliver, by the way, like we're really gonna deliver on that. We're gonna have an awesome panel and we're gonna execute it really well and we're gonna, we're gonna take all the content and put it out. But I think when you look at all those different ways that you can prepare for a conference, I think, um, and I hope that we've, we've hit you know, all the key ones and if we're missing anything or if anybody else knows anything else that, that they do, then let us know. We'd love to be able to, um, to improve on our, on our current set. Uh, we are on our way to, yet again, another meetup. Uh, yeah. Cryptocurrency and blockchain technology in emerging markets. Yeah, and we have a few kind of interesting speakers there, so it's going to be great to um, go down there and meet a few of the people that have been hitting us up on Telegram today right. due to joining the other strategy that you employ, which is joining the Telegram groups. That's right, that's right. I mean, I wasn't, I wasn't going through everything I do, it was just one of the <laughs> things I do. But you're absolutely right, getting into the Telegram groups that are based around the conference and introducing yourself yeah. to people. I think it's a great hack. It's a great networking opportunity. So, uh, yeah, we're going to continue oh, to do that. you give away all the secrets? Absolutely. I give away oh. all my secrets. Why wouldn't I? <laughs> They're not secrets. They listen to the podcast. That's what I, all the secrets Do you know what, Charles? You really realize when, when you're successful, when you can give away all, everything that you do and hope people use it. Brilliant. The thing is that the majority of people won't. The majority of people just won't because it's it's easy to say but hard to execute. So I hope everybody does because that pushes me to raise my game and I'm all about that. Give That's it all right. the way for free and wow. let everybody do it. It's open source, that. open source network and hustling. <laughs> <laughs> and building businesses. The open way to do business. I think we're almost there, right? Thanks, man. Okay, thank it. you very much. Appreciate it. Okay, all right. Well, we try to, we try to keep... Really should. Okay. Like, he, so, thought leadership. I see that shit all the time. Yeah, I should have. These guys actually know what they're talking about, which is helpful. Well, I think it's best to be a practitioner and actually speak about your experiences, right, because nobody's an expert, like, and the market's evolving, and we don't know where it's really so going to go. What, that, that's the thing, is that that's what I'm looking out for. Like, what's next for crypto is really interesting. Anyway, uh, Philip has now started um, High Fidelity, which is a VR player that Galaxy invested into, and, and we've also been a strategic partner. In